Welcome to the Western Virginia Water Authority Spring Hollow Water Treatment Facility. Today we invite you to join us as we learn how we treat your drinking water from the river to the reservoir to the treatment plant to our customers. Prior to the mid-1990s, water supply in Roanoke County had been provided by a series of groundwater wells. However, to meet the needs of expanding industry and the growing population, a surface water reservoir and dam was necessary. This new water supply and treatment facility answered the water needs of Roanoke County residents. Later, when the Western Virginia Water Authority was formed, water from Spring Hollow was used to serve even more customers, including Franklin County residents. Completed in 1996, the Spring Hollow Water Treatment Facility produces an average of 5 to 7 million gallons of drinking water each day, about a third of the Western Virginia Water Authority's supply. With a treatment capacity of 18 million gallons of water a day and the ability to expand to treat up to 36 million gallons a day, Spring Hollow will provide water security through 2040 and potentially beyond. The entire complex encompasses the pump station at the Roanoke River, a side stream storage reservoir, and the water treatment facility itself. It required vision to bring Spring Hollow from a deep and narrow ravine to a settling basin capable of holding up to 3.2 billion gallons of water. In order to build the reservoir's dam, a quarry and concrete manufacturing facility were developed on site. The dam was built using roller compacted concrete. As concrete was poured, steam rollers would pack the material down into one foot thick layers. These layers were called lifts. Each day, about three feet of roller compacted concrete was added to the dam. In total, 310,000 cubic yards of cement, fly ash, and limestone were used in the year long construction. While the dam was being constructed, a new water treatment process utilizing an upflow clarifier was being rigorously tested. This type of process had not yet been utilized to this scale in Virginia, and it required months of testing data and the Virginia Department of Health approval before it could be used. Cliff Craig, Roanoke County's utility director at the time, first tested a small model in his kitchen. Later, a full-sized unit was set up in this barn on Roanoke County's property. The results from the pilot test were reviewed by the Virginia Department of Health, who ultimately approved this type of treatment for Spring Hollow. That original clarifier unit from that barn is still used at Spring Hollow to process the backwash water. The water is processed after backwashing and then is returned to the reservoir. In 1993, the Clifford D. Craig Memorial Dam was completed. It stands 243 feet tall and is 990 feet wide at the crest. The upstream face of the dam is covered with 2,400 concrete panels that each measure 4 feet wide and 16 feet long. Each panel weighs 3,500 pounds. It was named in honor of Clifford D. Craig, who passed away just a few weeks after Spring Hollow Reservoir began filling with water. It took 18 months to fill the reservoir, and once it was filled, this dam impounded 3.2 billion gallons of water, covering 158 surface acres. The water that fills the side stream reservoir is pumped from the nearby Roanoke River. While water can drain from the watershed surrounding Spring Hollow Reservoir into the lake, the reservoir's watershed is only 540 acres, which is quite small. The chief source of water for this reservoir is the river. Water operators determine when to pump water from the river based on the water quality and river levels. If turbidity is high or if a pollutant is moving downstream, the pumps are not operated. Since water operators control when to pump, the turbidity of the water entering the reservoir is relatively low. Minimum river flow levels are also strictly followed to prevent the river from dropping too low and impacting the aquatic life. Five pumps of different sizes draw water from the Roanoke River into the side stream reservoir. The pumps range from 300 horsepower to 800 horsepower and can pump from 5 to 10 million gallons a day each. 
While the larger pumps are used regularly, the 300 horsepower pump is utilized during the drier months. One millimeter screens prevent debris, fish, and larger sediment from entering the reservoir. The 248 foot deep reservoir serves as both a settling basin and storage. Because the water from the river is pumped almost 3,000 feet into the back of the reservoir, sediment settles out as the water moves towards the intake tower at the face of the dam. Oxygen is added to the reservoir as a pretreatment to oxidize organic matter, iron, and manganese and trap these substances in the sediment layers at the bottom of the reservoir. Oxygenation also helps to control algal blooms, which can cause taste and odor problems. The raw water is piped across the river to the water treatment facility. As the raw water travels to the treatment facility, sodium permanganate is added as a pre-oxidant that oxidizes iron and manganese and reduces organics. Hypochlorite is also added before filtration as a pre-disinfectant. As the water enters the treatment facility, ferric sulfate is added to help the sediment coagulate into flock. The water travels to one of three units where the flock can be trapped by the upflow clarifiers and the filters. Each unit can process about 6 million gallons of water each day. Each 12-foot deep treatment unit contains one upflow clarifier and then filters on either side. The clarifiers are filled with polystyrene beads, which increase the surface area that the water has to pass through. The beads are held in place by mesh and stainless steel grating. After flowing up through the clarifiers, the water flows down through the filters. The filter media is composed of anthracite coal and silica sand. As the water passes down through the media, the smallest pieces of sediment and bacteria get caught. Filter media in a conventional filter like this is modeled after the Earth's sediment layers, which scientists have found effectively filter groundwater. Eventually, all of that flock will build up in the clarifiers and the filters, so they do require regular cleaning. The clarifiers are flushed approximately every 30 hours, and the filters are backwashed approximately every 80 hours, using treated water and an air scour system. The Water Authority follows guidance provided by the Virginia Department of Health to determine backwash frequency. The backwash water appears reddish brown because of the addition of the ferric sulfate as the coagulant. The sludge from the backwash is collected and discharged to the sanitary sewer about every 18 months. The ferric sludge finds its way to the Roanoke Regional Water Pollution Control Plant for additional treatment. At this point in the process, the water is filtered and it appears clean. However, there are a couple more steps before it becomes potable water. The filtered water leaves the treatment building to flow through large granular activated carbon filters, or GAC. The GAC is used to remove organics that may have formed during the process, thus reducing THMs and HA5 levels. This is a polishing step and the result is similar to the water that has been passed through a Brita filter. While filtering does remove contaminants, the water must still be treated with chlorine per Virginia Department of Health regulations. The amount of chlorine is relatively low at one part per million. After chlorine is added, the water is stored in the clear well before being pumped out into the distribution system. This allows time for the chlorine to effectively kill any bacteria and ensures that the water will not support bacterial growth as it travels through more than 1,200 miles of water distribution pipes. In order to protect against tooth decay, fluoride is also added to the finished water at a level of 0.7 parts per million, which is the recommended level by the Virginia Department of Health. Orthophosphate is a food grade chemical that is added to the water for corrosion control. It coats the inside walls of the water pipes, preventing the leaching of lead or other metals from domestic plumbing into your water. From the river to the settling basin at the reservoir, through the treatment facility and the water distribution system, 
The treatment of water and its quality is monitored and controlled by licensed operators. Their level of responsibility is high as they provide safe drinking water essential to life to area customers daily. The work of the treatment plant operator requires focused attention to all of the different treatment processes. They utilize a supervisory control and data acquisition system, or SCADA, to monitor equipment status, chemical feed systems, our other water treatment facilities, and water as it travels through the distribution system. In addition to water operators, lab personnel conduct important behind the scenes work. Thousands of tests are conducted on the water during its many steps in the treatment process, from the raw water sources to the in-home plumbing, to ensure safety and quality. Test results are reported to the Virginia Department of Health, the Department of Environmental Quality, and to our customers via the Water Quality Report. The Spring Hollow Water Treatment Facility houses the lab that serves the Western Virginia Water Authority's entire customer service area. While some regular lab work is conducted every day at each treatment facility, some tests require the specialized equipment that is only located at this lab. We test substances that occur naturally in the water, substances that are added to the water, and byproducts of the treatment process. The testing schedules can range from daily to monthly to every few years. The Spring Hollow Lab is a state certified lab, which also allows us to conduct some testing for neighboring communities. The work at the Spring Hollow Water Treatment Facility and throughout the entire Western Virginia Water Authority is possible thanks to dedicated professionals who consistently treat and deliver safe, quality water every single day of the year. Now, when you turn on your tap, you can envision the work that goes behind the faucet that makes your fresh drinking water possible. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the Spring Hollow Water Treatment Facility. Please visit us at all of our online locations to learn more about the Western Virginia Water Authority.